What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the next OnePlus phone. Now, if you're into the OnePlus phones, that OnePlus, whatever, have it be a 7 or 6 T extra, whatever they end up calling it, will be the very first phone with the Snapdragon 855. This will be the first time that a Snapdragon 800 series phone has not launched with a Samsung phone. So you're looking at OnePlus being the very first phone to do this. Now, if you think about that, Samsung's phone, the Galaxy S10, is rumored to be coming out in March of 2019, meaning this OnePlus phone is going to be either coming out in January or February of 2019, or maybe a week before. Maybe it'll still come out in March, but a little bit before the Galaxy S10 phone is. Um, so per, just based off performance, you're going to get a 20% performance boost over the Snapdragon 845 and 40% better like battery life uh, performance management with that uh, over the Snapdragon 845. So pretty good leaps uh, over the last generation of processor. Next up, if you use Google Allo, which is a messaging service from Google, which is actually my absolute favorite. I love Google Allo. Looks like it's going away, and that's the rumor right now. Google hasn't officially come out and said this, but Google Allo should be uh, very soon, it sounds like, going away and to never come back. And they're putting all their resources into Android messages, which is gonna be receiving RCS messaging. And it has occasionally in certain uh, markets and certain carriers as well, which allows you to send bigger files and see if someone's are typing back, you know, kind of like the iMessage type features that are out with Apple. Google's slowly, slowly getting there with Android messages. But ultimately, Google Allo, it looks like the team has pretty much disbanded at this point, and a lot of their key programmers have already been moved over to Android messages. And the last story of the day is AT&T has come out and announced that a second Samsung phone will also be 5G compatible, this time in the second half of 2019. And let me think what that could mean. Galaxy Note 10, yes, most likely. So you're looking at the Galaxy Note 10 having 5G built right into it. And it's not a surprise if the Galaxy S10 is gonna have it, or at least a variant of the Galaxy S10 is gonna have 5G built into it. You can bet your bottom dollar that the Galaxy Note 10 is going to have it as well. Galaxy Note 10, you're looking at probably coming out in August, maybe September of 2019. And that obviously is the second half of that year. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is when 2019 launches and say you're going to buy a new phone in 2019, is it a necessity for it to have 5G built into it? 5G networking. Let me know in the comments down below. For me, not so much, but it would be nice to actually have it, I guess, just for long term in case I keep it for longer than normal. Someone's at the front door. And someone's at the front door, so I'm going to get going. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!